Good morning. In this video, we're going to talk about while loops, uh, but we're going to talk about how to represent them on a flowchart. Uh, so we're going to solve lesson 12, activity number 11, right here, and then we're going to represent it on, on a flowchart to show you how to represent a while loop. Okay, let's get started. So, in this situation here, we have dirt piles that we need to get rid of. Um, if you can't see them, I can zoom in a bit. The way we can do this uh, is we, and you've done this last class, move forward, and then I can remove it, and let's test this out. Like that. Now I notice that when the, 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 each dirt pile is at the end of the path. So I can actually use this very handy uh, loop that they give me. This very handy loop that they give me called while called while path ahead. And you've used this before. So I'm gonna say while path ahead, move forward, and then when you get to the end, I'm, I just want to make sure I can move uh, all the way through. I'm gonna turn left, and then I'm gonna repeat this. Let's see how many times we need to turn. That's one, two, and I guess three since we need to move. So let's try this out. Okay, so I'm able to walk the whole path. That's good. Now, every time I get to the end of the path, I need to start removing the dirt. Uh, in this case, there's only one pile for each of them. So I'm just gonna say, remove one pile before I turn left. And let's see if that works. All right, it looks like it worked. Okay, now here comes the important part. How do we represent this in a flowchart? Uh, and so let's split the screen here. Okay, so we have our start ellipse. The first thing that happens after you click run is the repeat three times loop. This is the first uh, line of code that we see, uh, but we know that this one we draw in the end was just an arrow, right? The next thing is the while path ahead. And we've already talked about how the while loop is a combination of conditional statements or an if statement and a normal repeat loop. So we're gonna actually represent it using the same uh, symbol as, as the if statement, which is the diamond here or the rhombus. Uh, and then inside of it, we're gonna type a question and I always phrase it as a question so that it's exactly clear. I'm gonna say, is there a path ahead? That way it's a yes or no question. Let me make this bigger. Is there a path ahead? And so if yes, if there is a path ahead, then we say move forward. So I'm gonna connect this first. Here. So then we're also going to put text here showing that this is this is the, the, the yes answer, right? So is there a path, a, a path ahead? If yes, follow this path. And so I'm going to put yes here. I'm going to put it in green. Okay, move forward. Otherwise, if we're not moving forward, let's say like there's no path ahead, then we skip this, right, and we do remove one. So I'm gonna say remove one. And we connect it to this side. Okay? So just so you can see, I start here, and I'm asking myself, is there, is there a path ahead? If yes, go here. If no, and let me Change this, no. Make it red. 
then remove one. Okay, let's say we moved forward. Let's say we actually, there was a path ahead and we moved forward. We need to then check again. So after moving forward, we're gonna go back to the top here and check again. And there's no number that we're gonna put on the loop here because this is gonna keep repeating no matter how many, uh, it doesn't matter how many times, as long as there's a path and if the answer is yes, it's gonna keep repeating. Uh, so this here forms a small loop that's gonna keep repeating until the answer is no. Once the answer is no, it's gonna remove one then it's going to turn left. After the turn left, there's nothing le else, and so we have our end. Put end here, and I'll make it red. Okay, now, now is the time to look at this repeat three times loop, and we can start this from here. Let's say right here. So this is what it looks like now. We have a start. We ask ourselves, is there a path ahead? If yes, we do this. We go back again, ask ourselves again, keep repeating this until there's no longer a path. And at that point, the answer is no. We then follow this second path down. We remove one, remove one of the piles. Then we turn left. Then we go back all the way to the start and we do this all over again. And one more thing is missing here is to say that this is done three times. And let me give it a color. Okay, I'll give this a color as well, in blue here, just to show that it's different. It's not just a normal step. All right, okay. So this is all there is to it. it again, it's looking a little bit more complex. Our flowchart stopped being uh, thin and, narrow and, and long, and now they're getting more complex, there are more arrows going around, they're getting kind of wide, uh, and at some point they're going to have multiple paths to multiple different ends. Um, and, and so wait for that. Okay, if you have any questions, please send me an email. Uh, when you do send me an email, if you have a question about your flowchart, show me an example, like send me a screenshot of your flowchart, that way I can say like, oh, this is good or this is bad. It makes it a lot easier for me. Um, otherwise, good luck, read the instructions well, and I'll see you at some point. Bye.